I came here as a laborer. I started generating money to educate my children. The farming that I started, I started by means of the same industry. Then from there, I had to buy seed ring with the same money. So I cannot deny it has been important all the way through, throughout. Uh, my name is Kennedy Nganga. I work for the International Center for Tropical Agriculture as a researcher. Yeah, when you're looking at this place, you can see a very clear example of weathering. The top layer of soil is the one which also holds most of the organic content. So it is the most fertile part of the soil. Now, what normally occurs with erosion is that you have the agents of erosion, either wind or water, carrying away all of this soil from the surface of the land. And so the, the top soil is, is lost and you only remain with the soil that is not so fertile. So we have to find measures to conserve it. My name is Priscilla Ngacha. I work for the Green Belt Movement. And where we are right now is Mount Kenya Forest. The river that you can see flowing, it's like the mother of the Kenyan as a whole. This is where it all starts as we go downstream. It's where we have the hydroelectricity power. We also have the irrigation schemes that use the river Tana water. So those people downstream really depend on the catchment areas. My name is George Yogi. I work for TNC as the field conservation coordinator within Apatana catchment. What we can see right here, it seems they did not consider any downstream user. And all the water is going to their project. What that means is that uh, the community downstream always complain about water shortage. The work for the Water Resource Users Association is to regulate, to make sure that everybody within the catchment is getting enough water for his basic needs. My name is Jane, Water Resources Management Authority. Now I've come to the river because they want to take the samples. We use this sediment sampler. We have farmers who are, they do their farming up to the river. The soil comes, the soil erosion goes straight to the river. So you'll know by this machine, so you'll know that there's something interfering there. What you do when you take the samples, then you take it to the laboratory, they will tell us there's something in, being interfered, then we shall take an abstraction survey. We come to this river, then we shall just move with the river and see what is happening to the whole catchment. We want to protect our people downstream. We thought of working in this area to address the soil erosion, which contributes the most sediments to the hydropower stations. One, establish water pans which will work as check dams to reduce the water which is going to the river. Secondly, by doing the terraces. My name is Daniel N. Mochiri. I discovered that my topsoil is very good for farming. is going away. That's why I decided to start terracing. And from that time, I can see the change. Now my banana are doing well. From these bananas, after selling them, even if it's not so much money, I saw bananas, then I, I go to a shop, I take the money with some other commodities. Big size means big money. <laughs> we are doing rehabilitation, and where we are right now, we have planted 23,000 indigenous seedlings, and we have, we call them the green ledgers from the community. They are the ones that take care of the trees. They do the replacement of the lost trees, take care of the seedlings so that they are not destroyed by the animals. So when we plant those trees, we have a lot of biodiversity. As the rain starts, that's the time when we start planting the trees that will soon change the already degenerated area to another environmentally uh, protected area. We are citizens of this land and we would like our children to meet it better than we met it. <laughs>